Hello everybody, it's Gear to you, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Paper Mario. In the previous episode, Princess Peach joined our party and we opened the way towards our second door. So without further ado, let's go inside. With Princess Peach at his side, Mario set out once again bound for adventure. Um, it's ready for adventure, thank you. This time, our heroes were tasked with finding the mysterious charmer, Merle. If Merlon was right, then Merle was the key to finding the next pure heart. Never one to flinch from danger, Mario set out to find Merle's mysterious mansion. But little did you know, the evil works of the dastardly Count Black awaited at every turn. Dot dot dot. The pure heart is somewhere up ahead. Yes, it must be, but it could be a ways. I thought that was Peach saying that for a moment, so that's why I was using her voice. Let's go! Certainly! Thanks for your help, Tippy. And welcome to Gloam Valley. So we'll be going across this area. These uh, outlined Koopas, I don't know if that's their official name or not, but they have the same characteristic as the outlined Goombas, how they can flip into 3D if you try doing that as well. So we'll be going over here, switching to 3D for a moment, because I thought there was a thing over here, but I guess there wasn't. I might be thinking ahead a little bit. So. We go up here, we want to do, switch over to Princess Peach, and we'll be able to fly across. Unfortunately, there's no way you can beat this game without jumping, so, sorry Game Jump 3000. <laughs> so we go over this way now, and we have a new enemy. That is not Throw. <laughs> e throw is evil confirmed. I'm, no, Throw is not evil, I'm trying to... Cattle at the stupid fish. That's a cheap cheap. Like all fish, it lives entirely underwater. Maximum HP is two, and attack is one. It swims around lazily, minding its own fishy business. No important characteristics of note. It's a fish. <laughs> that is one of my favorite uh, tippy quotes in the entire game. <laughs> I know it's silly, but I absolutely love that one. It's just so funny. It has no characteristics. It's a fish. <laughs> uh, anyway, so now we're going over this way. We're going to want to switch over to Mario, because if we do that, then oh, there are blocks we can activate in 3D, and that's pretty cool. So I think this level, going back to things like game design and things like that, this level does a really great job of uh, teaching you and making it important to know how crucial it's going to be to switch between the characters throughout the game. Um, because you might get a new party member and think, oh, I'm not going to use them, I'm just going to stick the entire time with Mario. But every party member in this game is important, which is something that unfortunately not a whole lot of RPGs do. Like even some of my favorite RPGs of all time, like Xenoblade and even Earthbound to a certain degree, they have their party members that just don't feel as important as others. A key to the door in Gloom Valley. All right. Is there anything in here before we leave? No, there isn't. So now that we have the small key, we can open the locked door. Open that. And we haven't yet uh, shown what Peach is. Um, Pixel form, bite size form looks like. I don't remember that's the name of it. I just know that that's the name of the candy in Mario Party 8. So, one thing I would like to do before we do anything else, I want to go through this door as Mario because this is one of my favorite things in the entire game. There are two things I hate old dudes with mustaches and old dudes without mustaches. So, take hike, old dude. Go up to the road to Murray's Mansion, will you? 
He doesn't like me. Maybe you'll like Peach instead? Hot girl alert! <laughs> <laughs> favorite lines in any Mario game ever. <laughs> and just Peach's expression, and it's even made better by the fact that there's like a bunch of 8-bit versions of her too. <laughs> Hot girl alert! We must have been fated to meet. Yes, you are my destiny. Please, go out with me. <laughs> what a silly man you are. I'm very sorry, but... Or we must be somewhere. Where? Ernie's Manson? I wouldn't go there if I were you. You'll get trapped there and bad things will happen. Trapped? Bad things? What are you talking about? I don't even want to remember it. But now that you're with me, you don't have to worry about all that, baby. Because I am your fate, your destiny. Um, thanks for the info. If I don't come back, will you perhaps try to save me? You know, like a certain mustachioed man used to do. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but yeah, this is one of my favorite lines in the entire game, and I know it's just so silly, but like this line pops into my head from time to time whenever I'm playing through a video game and I see my wife on screen or something like that. So. <laughs> Like, if I'm playing Splatoon and um, it's the opening of the game with Marina and Pearl, like, I'll often think about that whenever Marina's on screen. <laughs> so anyway, now we want to go over this way. We didn't jump high enough for that, unfortunately, but we can always try again. And trying is usually the first step towards failure. And now we can go over here. I gotta say, I love the windmills in the background. <laughs> Like, I know windmills do kind of have problems sometimes, like I know they could be dangerous for birds and stuff like that, but I just love the sight of windmills going just spinning around all day and things like that. I know it's incredibly silly, but I just always liked the sight of windmills. And now we go over here and jump across the background stuff with all the pretty windmills, and eventually we'll be able to hit the switch. Don't actually hit the Switch, though, because it's a very good console. It has some really amazing games on it, so treat your Switches nicely. <laughs> it's such a satisfying sound effect. I love the sound design of this game. It's just so fun. And I'm really happy that I can hear it whenever I'm recording this game, because I can have my headphones plugged into the Wii U gamepad and things like that. So now we'll go over here, activate that, and it's super shiny! Somewhere out there in this crazy universe, the guy that was all like, hot girl alert is probably freaking out right now. <laughs> like, could you imagine if he saw her like this? But anyway, now we go over here, destroy all you, and oh, we, got, we didn't get to destroy the last ones. Well, fine then. You'll just stay there and think about what you did, standing there minding your own business, walking back and forth. How dare you? And this right here is a slow flower. It temporarily slows time to a crawl. You'll also earn triple points and coins while it's active. It sucks. I hate traveling so slow like this. But it's not all bad. The effect is at least pretty nice, and I do like how it changes the music, so that's something that's at least kinda decent. It's it's weird, like both of this and the speedy flower, they're both they're like the worst of both worlds and things like that. I never enjoy using them. Uh, is there anything like this? Nope! 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 Oh, we almost made it. Oh well. So, activate that. And we get a happy flower! Oh boy! Take care of that. Jump on you. Avoid the rock. And I'm gonna go inside this pipe because I'm getting bored of clicking these coins. <laughs> Hmm, there's 
there's nothing in here. Anything in 3D? Nope. This room. There's something about this room. Just trying to be vague and cryptic. I was gonna drown it out, but then you ruined it, Tippy. How dare you? That's a switch. Even if you can't see it, you should still be able to activate it. New enemy, so we have to tattle. That troublesome creature is a grom gromeba gromeba gromeba. What kind of name is that? Gromeba. Close enough. It can clone itself over and over again. Maximum HP is two, and attack is one. If you defeat the main one, the clones will die. The primary one has uh, slightly different moves and looks, uh, so watch closely. If you don't want to bother, you could defeat them all with an item. Good vibes. Gaming. Them vibes set off my blow stuff up senses. You like exploding so pow. I ain't seen the real good blow stuff up vibes in 1500 years. So boom. I gotta check those vibes out a little more close like Shakak. Check it out. Just answer a couple questions real quick. Shablam. Okay, shabram. Here we go, shabrambo. You stay up wondering if uh, anyone ever gives presents to Santa Claus. I used to do that all the time when I was a kid. I used to leave out presents for Santa. <laughs> totally. For some reason, you cleaned your room before a test. I'm the exact opposite. <laughs> Whenever I'm super busy, I have a pro I have a problem of making my desk a just a complete mess. Um, and then whenever I'm finished being busy and things like that, I clean it. I gotta get better about that. But sir, for you, we'll say absolutely. When someone says, "Let's just be friends," you think, "Yeah, whatever." I never had that happen to me before. You don't really understand why I'm asking you all these weird questions. You got it! You think shopping online is a wonderful and magical experience? Well, certainly nowadays. <laughs> you once put a shirt inside out, but didn't bother reversing it before going out. This has never actually happened to me before. <laughs> like, I hear some people talk about it, but this has never happened to me, but we'll just say all the time. You want to be sleeping when you're awake, but when you're tired, you want to wake up. Exactly. <laughs> and always. This is the. This is exactly my problem when it comes to trying to sleep. You're getting real tired of these questions. You said it, not me. Got it, got it, got it! Shabram! You got some tasty vibes. Shablam! My mind's made up now. Shablam! You guys are worthy of my power. Okay, Boomer. <laughs> That's literally his name. Use Boomer's power to blow up foes and destroy blocks. When you want to switch pixels, just go to the pixels menu and pick another one. Each second explodes into the next. A bomb all bombs away. Shaboom! Let's see what Tippy has to say about our new friend. That's Boomer. This pixel excels at blowing things up. Boomer joined your party after you met him in Gloom Valley. He's happy to obliterate anything for the legendary hero. You know what that means? <laughs> Okay, I haven't actually done this before while recording the video, but I like going like this really quickly because it looks like Mario's dancing. 
All right, so now we go over here. If we go behind the cracked wall, we can open up the treasure chest. Watch it. <laughs> I can just imagine a conversation of only Super Mario. I can imagine a conversation going where people are only referencing Super Mario character names, and they'll be like, "Hey, watch it." Okay, boomer. <laughs> Uh, alright, so now we go over this way. We're going to ignore you because I have no reason to fight you. And now we go over here and we can blow up the brick blocks. So, a fun story about Boomer. This isn't exactly related to Super Mario, but it's something really fun that I like to think about from time to time. So, on the collab channel, my friend James and I, we did a series of the ledges that linked to the past, and um, we were trying to figure out funny names to give Link, and we settled on Boomer. So, throughout the entirety of the Link to the Past uh, Let's Play, we um, we named Link Boomer. <laughs> it was so much fun. Alright, um, I haven't actually shown what the information for this guy is. That bizarre creature is a slurp. I love this name, it's so cute. Slurp. <laughs> it has tough skin and an appetite for everything. Maximum HP is question mark, question mark. Attack is two and defense is question mark, question mark. No attack will work. But slurps are just fa as fragile inside as they are tough on the outside. Maybe you should try feeding you something that would give it indigestion. Taco Bell. I actually like Taco Bell. <laughs> like, I've been trying to be better about not eating fast food that often, but... Well, let's just say I'm thankful I didn't have a New Year's resolution to not eat out that much. Uh, there's some coins over here, and we could get double the coins if we were staying 3D, but I didn't feel like losing HP. One more door there to go through. Let's take care of this. Have we read the information on this character yet? That is kind of a weird effect how we can see the explosion, but the area Tippy is looking at isn't affected. It's a spiked Goomba. Look at that spiky hat. Maximum HP is one, attack is two. That spiky hat and makes stomping it or picking it up a very bad idea. I would recommend throwing something at it, or you could just walk on by. Yeah, we're probably just gonna do that because the Goomba's just minding its own business. We go over this way, and it's a button! I like buttons. That was awfully rumbly. Something must have happened outside. Go into 3D one more time, and fall off the face of the earth. <laughs> Now that we've activated the switch, there's another door, and that's pretty cool. And it's a different color, so you know it's the new one. And we have to see this thing again. That's a gerbil. We already read the information on that one, but, like, I'm sorry, but it totally looks like it has boobs. So now we take care of that. Do not activate the thing real quick. Instead, go into 3D, and you'll see that there's a bottomless pit down here. Except it's not bottomless, because there's two treasure chests down here. And I did not want to go through there. Uh, one more tippy information. That beast is a swooper. It likes to dangle from the ceiling in dark dang places. Maximum HP is 3 and attack is 1. Watch your head, it will swoop down on you. It will swoop back up before it swoops down, so jump on it when you can. Basically, these are just keys from the Legend of Zelda. Down here, there are two catch cards. One is a slurp. <laughs> just love that enemy name. It's so much fun. And the second one is a swooper. I love the shower right here of the mansion. <laughs> but I'm taking care of all that for this video off here. So thank you all so much for watching this episode of Super Mario. And next time... End of chapter.